This is a short video on the drivetrain for the lathe, and I also had to do a little bit of repair work, and we'll talk about that as well. And this is the drivetrain. You can see it moves power from the spindle through the reversing lever, through this big 80 tooth idler gear, to the power shaft of the gearbox through the screw gear. Here are all the parts. There are three gears, various bolts and nuts, and the banjo at the bottom. South Bend calls it a bracket, but everybody else calls it a banjo. You can see on the banjo here evidence of galling from this bushing. Apparently what happened is this bolt came loose and the bushing galled up the banjo, it galled up the bolt, and it also galled up the inside of the uh, idler gear. All of these needed some repair work. Here I am just showing you how the parts uh, need to go together. This is the idler gear and I had to make the hole bigger to get rid of the galling and I had to face that off again. That was beat up pretty much as well. And I also had to turn down the bushing, and that left a gap, obviously, which I had planned to fit a bronze bushing in here, but I decided not to do that. Instead, I decided to build a whole new part that fit the diameter that I had to cut in the idler gear. I was pretty excited because this was going to be the first part I made on my new lathe, and it was a disaster. I overshot and made the diameter about uh, five thousandths too small. It was easier just to shave it off than to part it off. I didn't have a parting tool yet. The next try was a lot better. I got the diameter right and it looks actually pretty good. However, I failed to drill it all the way through and I had to drill the last little bit from the backside and you can see it didn't line up quite right. So the bolt would not fit all the way through. The third try was a lot like the second. I uh, overshot again, not by five thousandths this time. I missed it by only about three. I had a parting tool now to cut it off instead of just shave it. Okay, this is starting to get embarrassing. I need to draw out the diagram, be very careful, measure a bunch of times, and I finally got it. It's got about a thousandth clearance for the idler gear, and the hole actually goes straight all the way through. Nice. I also made the flange on the bottom of this bushing a little wider, so it will span that galled up area on the bracket. So this fit together pretty well. It's the first part I've made on my lathe, so I am pretty happy with it. If you count all the tooling for this new hobby in the lathe, etc., etc., it's about a $4,700 part. I don't know what it is exactly, but there's something very fulfilling about fixing these old machines. Now, it's not good to dwell on mistakes you've made in the past, but you ought to at least remember them. And in this video, I'm going to memorialize my first part and celebrate the successes that we have. I showed this to my wife and she said, hey, that looks like a real part. And I said, yes, it does. The first thing I did is put the key in the keyway in the main drive shaft of the gearbox, which will eventually accept the screw gears. The bracket or the banjo goes on next. And then we attach the 80 tooth idler gear. This is the bolt.
This is the bushing. A little bit of oil. Slide on the idler gear. This did turn out to be a really nice fit. Washer, lock washer, which is something new. I added the lock washer, so hopefully this doesn't come loose again. And it pulls the bolt out a little bit so it stays away from the bad threads. Slide on the screw gears. There are two here, but only one is used. The smaller gear is used for threads down to four threads per inch. If you need to cut a thread of that size, you'll have to swap these. Tighten it down. Mesh the teeth of the idler gear with the screw gear and then tighten down the bolt onto the bushing. Line the teeth up with the stud gear and then tighten down the bracket. I did not do any special calculations to get these gears meshed perfectly. I think you can just eyeball these and get them as close to as South Bend ever thought you needed them. And here we are all done. I'm pretty happy with this. And my first part.